Well, hi everyone and welcome to the local five weather lab. I'm chief meteorologist Brad Edwards. We're talking about drought and the categories of drought. It's something you've probably heard all summer long. We've been talking about what category of drought that we're in, but what does it all mean? Well, first let's talk about the drought that's going on right now. We've got the yellow color, the brown color, the orange color. So yellow is dry. Then we go moderate, severe, extreme, exceptional. We don't have any exceptional drought here, but we do out to the west of us here. Of course, the uh, United States is much much, much drier in the western part of the United States. Very dr a bad drought out there. Extreme to exceptional drought in many areas out here. So let's break it down category by category here. Here are the, again the five categories starting with zero to D4. Kind of like a tornado scale, right? Well, let's talk about abnormally dry first. That means a short term dryness. It's not usually a big problem. It might slow some of the plants down a little bit, the growth of the crops or the pastures, but it's not a big problem. And what's interesting is these drought classifications are really not directly uh, tied to how much rainfall or lack of rainfall. That's only one of the criteria. Some of the other criteria are like river flow and things like that. But you get to a moderate drought and we're talking about some damage to the crops and pastures, low streams and reservoirs. You're already starting to see the effects there with a moderate drought. Also developing water shortages. So that's when it really starts to turn the corner there. Severe drought, you definitely have crop and pasture losses likely. Water shortages become common and water restrictions start to be imposed. So these are all the different criteria that go into it. And then finally, extreme drought. This is what's happening in much of California and Nevada. We're looking at major crop and pasture losses, widespread water shortages and restrictions out there. Exceptional drought, it gets even worse. Widespread crop and pasture losses, water shortages, shortages and creating water emergencies and that is certainly happening in parts of California. Plus they have all the fires out there. So I hope that helps helps explain exactly what those categories mean. Uh, unfortunately, the drought continues in many parts of the United States. Thanks for coming in to the local five weather lab.